So I know I said I was going to be back for the Barnet game. However, watch these highlights and you'll see why I decided to come back for the Torquay game. I don't believe it. You said no. Bobby, why? Yes. Sit down late and I you pricks. What a ball. Parish. That's why you got the start, big man. That's why you got the start. What a fucking goal. Oh my. <laughs> Daddy Parish. Do I need another striker? Oh. Jeez. What a thronker. Oh. Okay, Bobby. Okay, I guess the hero of the save has become the villain. Okay. Okay. We'll see you in a few weeks, mate. We'll see you in a few weeks. The new man has immediately made an impact. Lopez with a wonderful ball in. Perry in off the post. What can you say? What can you say? Oh, it doesn't feel good the other way round. Oh. Barry's here for one more year at least. Get in. Because you see, you're here forever. Don't forget, you're here forever. Well, look who we've got in on trial. Big Red Machine himself. Okay, this could be a bit special. 1 0 up, away from home, against Notts County. <laughs> Armstrong, what a finish! What a finish! It may actually be happening. We've gone 2 0 up against Notts County at their ground. What is happening? Fuller with a lovely pass and Burnett with a great finish. Sent the keeper the wrong way. To be fair, I would have thought I've left there. So, but I'm not a professional. Oh, not straight from kickoff, surely. Surely not straight from kickoff. That went off. That ball went off the field. Oh, thank God. Thank God he's shit. This is a ridiculous goal. What? Well, it looks like Fundy's career at Dorking has come to an end. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. What a hit that was. Jesus, this Armstrong might be a bit of a player. Nice little build-up. A little bit overpopulated there, but... Oh, he caught everyone off guard by that. Fair play. Yep. Torquay are the current club of one Bobby Copping. The man who was instrumental in us securing the championship last year. Rejected us and has now moved to Torquay on loan. Torquay are paying all of his wages, plus, plus a monthly fee for him, which, admittedly, yep, yeah, that's probably good for Peterborough, but he's not going to see any of that. He was getting paid either way. He should have just come back to us where he was loved and known, but no. Nope. He decided he wanted to go and play in yellow. So today, we're going to put him in the ground. Now, one thing I didn't show you last time, which you would have seen in the highlights of last episode, is that we are no longer playing our games at our old ground. We are now playing in Crawley at the People's Pension Stadium, paying almost £25,000 to rent it. All because we're moving into a new stadium at the end of this season. Huh? Why does that make sense? I know we had to do it because of the Vanarama rules or whatever, but 
our finances are bad enough. Why do we have to go and secure a loan? Look at that. 40,000 in the red. And we still got 35 grand of transfer budget, not to mention almost five grand's worth of wages. It's ridiculous. It is actually ridiculous because it is actually five grand. It's five grand of wages. 35k. I don't need a transfer budget. We're in non-league. If I'm paying for players, it's just ridiculous. There has been a couple of transfers since the last time you were with me. The one out is Alfie Rutherford has gone on loan to Hampton and Richmond. They're paying... Are they paying all of his wages? Uh, they're paying £150 per week plus a monthly fee. So I can't be too mad, but he won't be with us next season. Let's just leave it at that. We've also signed Fabio Lopez on loan from Oxford. A bit of Portuguese flair in the mix. You absolutely love to see it. He scored an absolute belter against... Who did he score against? Uh, I'll go find that girl for you. So it turns out it was the last game we played against Kidderminster that he scored an amazing goal, which I'm going to show you now. Look at this, look, Armstrong is the architect, sprinting forward, pass it back, bang, have that. Absolutely smashed it top bins, what a player. Yeah, he comes in on loan from Oxford, he's down as a fringe player, which is good, but we are paying all £300 of his wages, which is not necessarily awful, but he was the best available really. Um, his contract is up at the end of the season. Hopefully we can get him permanently because he does look like a very good signing. Brilliant up top and on the wing. Can play through the middle as well if we decide we want to play that. So yeah, he's a very good signing. We also went ahead and signed Jonathan Page, who I showed you last time. Not quite as good as my scouts thought he was going to be, star rating wise. But on the field, he's already provided two assists in three starts which is more than I could ask for from a defensive midfielder. And yeah, he looks like a very, very good signing for £300 a week. And lastly, the big name is we got another centre-back to add to the rotation. Absolutely fantastic. He's happy to be a squad player. He's on £200 a week. I believe I got a trigger extension call. Yep, I got to a clause in his contract that means I can trigger an extension so he can be here for two years if need be brilliantly suited to this division six foot two decent pace good acceleration quite aggressive good decisions determined good marking good tackling brilliant for this level we've also got ourselves a new physio called dave rennie he's got 13 physiotherapy which is really good for this level again he's fresh off of being the head physio at leicester what so he's come from earning potentially thousands of pounds a week to earning 180 here. That's crazy. Is he also a decent coach? I might give him a... No, no, he's just a medical... Just a medical guy. He'd been at Leicester for 20 years. Wow. Head physio for 20 years and they sacked him off and he's decided to come to London. Yeah, okay. I can take that. I can take that. So, yeah, we were... Uh, Ready to start our next game. Fabio Good is not healthy enough to play. We'll give Callum Kennedy his first start of the season. This is our midfield at the moment. We're playing Burnett as the Mazala. Fabio Lopez on the right. Armstrong on the left. And Danny Parrish has continued his goal scoring form. And I'll show you the results. But I'm too excited to get in and ruin Bobby Copping's day. Is he starting? Yes, he is. He starts alongside Dean Moxie, who I recognise again. And Tafari Moore, ex-Arsenal player. Oh, they've actually got quite a good side. Hmm, that could be... This could be a difficult, a bit more of a difficult game than I thought it was going to be. Go out there and carry straight on. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. And Danny... 
hands on hips. I want you to go out there and grab us some goals. Look at that. What a team talk. Everyone's motivated. Go on. Nice early goal. That'd be perfect. Go on. Daddy Parrish. Two and a half minutes in. I asked him to get me some goals and that's exactly what he's gone and done. Lopez played a dangerous ball in, but for Burnett to see that is ridiculous. And Parrish to make that run across the field there. Oh, he's miles onside. How did he know where the ball was going? He wasn't even looking at it. Wow. Fox in the box. Where is Bobby copying? There he is. Okay. Who's this? Muir, come on, man. You're my... Oh, that's not a penalty. That's never a penalty. Come off it. Come on, Howes. Ugh. That was never a pen. Oh, we don't need to see this again. Okay. We move. We move. Play that ball. Play that ball. Oh, that was so selfish. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. Why have you done that? Barry Fuller just left it. Why is he... What's happened there? He's crossed it. He's got over his head. Oh. He's just caught asleep. We can't have that. No. We're not going to go 3-1 down at home. Not to Bobby Copping. Oh, Perry, that was brave. Hands on hips. I expect to see a much better showing. Midfielders. There's a lot more to come from you. See, I feel sorry for Parrish. He's been carrying the side recently. Parrish is doing all the link-up play by himself. Go on, Lopez. You're literally better than every player on the pitch. Oh, Copping set us up. Oh, oh Copping had an absolute howler there. And we missed. And Sam Perry's just gone down injured. That's not ideal. Oh, well, because the referee gave away that penalty that wasn't not a penalty. Do I throw the water bottle? No. Right, the schedule. So you would have seen me beat Eastley 4 0. We then went and beat Leighton Orient 2 0, with Danny Parrish getting twi uh, two goals. And then we won 1 0, Danny Parrish getting the single goal there. And then Danny Parrish getting another goal to win it for us. And then he stopped scoring, and we drew 1 0. Then we lost 2 0 at home, which is not great. But this is the most frustrating one. We were 2-0 up. 2-0 up, 51 minutes in against Notts County at their ground. And they brought it back to 2 all. With You would have seen this in the highlights. A last-minute screamer from Odateo. Ridiculous goal. But then we bounced back really, really well. Danny Parrish getting on the, on the score sheet again and making it 2-1. Yeah, easy dub. Same here. Jason Pryor scored his first of the uh, season. I think he came off the bench to score that as well, actually. Uh, Fabio Lopez also got his first. And obviously, just seen us lose 2-1 to Torquay United. But I think we've got time to play Morecambe as well today. So let's get forward to that. Do I make an offer? He's banned! Oh, did he get a red card? Yeah, he did. Ooh. That makes me even more interested. Okay, so before we kick off against Morecambe, the table looks like this. It's just me and Morecambe left to play for the weekend. And it's fifth versus second. If we lose, we don't go anywhere. Unless we lose by a lot. But if we win, we go... Second, third, we go well, we go up above Torquay basically. Fight bravely against relegation. That's not happening, I don't think. I think we should finish. Be nice to finish in the playoffs. 
it'd be ridiculous because we wouldn't know what to do if we did go up but you know we move I think I put my trust in McPherson I think I have to but your manager's being a bitch so you're not getting a start today Leek's getting a start actually you're not even going on the bench today I'm angry with your manager I'm also going to give Will Tizard a start over Marquez Muir actually let's give let's give Marquez Muir and Tizard a start it's either of them left footed right footed right footed brilliant no. so yeah let's have a couple of Goliaths at centre back Kennedy was crap so Lindley is going to start yep this is what we're going to go with I think McPherson, Burnett in the middle with Phillips sitting back. Lindley, Muir, Tizard, Barry Fuller and Howes in the back. Peak, Armstrong, Parrish. Uh, and an attacking inverted winger, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Lennon Peak is nervous. Apprehensive as Liam Gibson is stronger than him. Mate, everyone is stronger than you. You've got three strength. You should be terrified all the time. Anyone I recognise? Stephen Hendry. Really good snooker player. See how he is in midfield. Why is it so negative? Why is Jake Gallagher so aggressive? Yeah, never mind. 18 aggression. That makes sense. Uh, good luck, lads. Go out there and pull off an up upset. Point your finger. I have faith in my defence. I have faith in my midfield. And Danny, I have faith in you. Go out there and get us some goals, lad. I'll oh, peak. Come on. Oh. Your nan's offside, ref. Oh, I hate when we play around the defence in non-league. It just makes me nervous. Oh, yeah, McPherson's five foot one, so maybe playing him in the centre of midfield isn't that good of an idea. That's a great ball, though. What a header! Danny Parrish could do it all! To think, Danny Parrish signed for us. His first goal on day one was his first goal in 10 games. And he's on really on eight. What a player. What a player we've signed. Okay, half time. 1 0 Dorking. Point fi uh, hands on hips. Uh, pump fists. No, I want to say, let's guard against complacency. Yeah, that worked. That worked. Okay, let's go straight out. No, no, we've been doing well. Oh, what a ridiculous header. Who was it that lost that header? Is it Will Tizard? It's him. Phillips three people around him right it's a better not be another 2-1 home loss because I'll be fuming lovely ball Barry no never mind I don't even care if he gets sent off as long as they don't that's off surely oh we got lucky there not like this oh my heart just pounded out my chest. Not a highlight straight away, please. Go on, Parrish. That's your, oh, that's your ball to pick up. Surely. Why is Phillips highlighted? What are you going to do? Oh, you dickheads. Right. First things first. I'm going to go in there, put my hands on my hips and say, I'm not happy with that. <sighs> that drops us down to sixth, which isn't awful. We're not supposed to be fighting for anything just yet. But let's check, because I was sure that that referee, that manager. Emma Hayes, yeah. Yeah, they've got a feedback manager. Wow. That's incredible. Don't see that very often in this game. I don't think I've actually ever seen that before. 
Where does she come from? Who does she... Where does she come from? Yeah. Ah, no idea. Got relegated from League 2. Oh, no, she didn't actually get relegated by in League 2. She was... They were down. And, okay, yeah, got it. First non-playing role. Wow, that's incredible. That's incredible. Nice. On that note... I'll see you at Barnet. Cool. Catch you later.